Yanni Johns is going to say a few words on behalf of uh, the artist, uh, and uh, I'll try. I try and keep Yanni down to uh, the bare minimum. A bare minimum, but it should Nigel, be an hour. Nigel, usually uh, my speeches go for around two hours. Uh, <laughs> okay, so get the barman ready. Uh, no, man. Are you ready for me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Graham Mulchin's solo exhibition. It's been a long time coming. And let me say this as his friend, I'm very proud of him today. It's, uh, it's been great watching him evolve over the last 10 years since I met him in 2002 as a curator of a gallery that shared a bottle shop. Of, yeah, we're a little bit outside the square. I mean, it's a bit hard for real gallerists to understand where we were at, but we used to, we, I had a gallery called the Grand Gallery, and it was, it was, it shared a space with a bottle shop, which meant we never had trouble selling art, because what we would do is just get Bill, the guy who was monitoring the bar, to get people pissed, and they'd buy the paintings. It was really good. And I'm not recommending that tonight, because this is real art. This is fabulous. And um, I met Graham one night during one of my numerous exhibitions, and I was turning over exhibitions once every month or so, and they were always themed, and he walked in, and someone said, oh, you're going to meet this guy, he's a really good artist. And I go, is it the... <laughs> your mum. <laughs> but, uh, so, so Graham came and met me, I saw his art, who's ringing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can you please turn your mobile phones on? <laughs> well, what this speech interrupted is... I think it's me! <laughs> Turn yourself on! Oh, okay. So anyway, yes, Graham, Graham came and met me. I saw his art and I said, yep, get on board. I don't know where we're going. You said... I don't know if we have much... said, to welcome to the inner circle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that. No. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but since then, I've, um, I've got to know Graham. We've become friends. We, together with with another person over here, Russell. We developed a thing called the Zoid Art Movement, which was, which was bringing art back to the people and thinking outside the square. We had exhibitions that ran through the streets of Sydney. We did uh, numerous things. We had a, a portrait exhibition on the steps of the Art Gallery of New South Wales mm. on the closing day of entries. So we got massive media attention. Mm. We, were, we were loved by Channel 9, well, we were we, loved by all the media. We ended up having a painting. 25 all portraits. So all the same person. Let me say, let me say that I was the subject matter. But it wasn't what I'd planned. I planned to get Bert Newton, but at the time he was changing channels. So he couldn't do it. And Kerry Ann Kennel was a didn't want to. So we would we were down to the wire. We needed to get this done happening and we just had what was it, three months? So you better do it. No. Oh. Okay. So if you ever sat for many, many hours with artists pointing their cameras and growing you, it's just so intimidating. But I've watched Graham grow through that period where he's like all artists. We're looking for that that signature item, that thing that's going to make us famous, that that work that's going to sell, sell, and that that becomes a driver for a lot of artists, and it destroys a lot of artists. And, and Graham and I have had a lot of talks about it, and I'm one of those artists that I paint from the heart. That's why I still have to have a day job. But um, Graham has taken on the mantle and decided, after many years, to actually paint from the heart and and develop art that, that's within, and, and it comes out in the work because something that's painted with true passion reflects that passion, and there's nothing you. you you can't not be attracted to it. It's it, it, it's a bridge to his his subconscious, and and it's a very enjoyable bridge and a gorgeous bridge. And I love every single piece in the show. It's an immaculate, immaculate show, and the perception of the show is brilliant to me. I'm his friend. <laughs> I don't know if qualify that, but I'm sure you all like this stuff. It's great. I have to say uh, also that. Um, I want to applaud Nigel for for actually thinking outside the square. Nigel could be a story. You could. Because what I see around Sydney, and I'm and I'm qualified to say it, I'm an arts reporter for the ABC on the Central Coast, and I get around a lot of shows, and I 
meet with a lot of gallerists, which is not even in the dictionary. Sorry. Um, but I meet with a lot of gallerists, and I see there's this closed-mindedness, and God bless them, because they've got to keep their businesses going. But the result of that is that art doesn't move forward. And so what, what we need are more gallerists, like Nigel here, that'll take a risk and, and run with something new and progress art. And that's what I'm seeing here today. And I want to congratulate Soho Gallery for doing that. And, you know, having said that, you'll always be in my good books. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. <laughs> if I recommend Soho, you'll go, oh, shit. <laughs> so I'll just keep it between us. But no, it's great. And I love it. I love it. I'm really tired of, um, you know, being covering exhibitions and walking around and people going, my bloody kid could do better than that. <laughs> you know, it's just, I think art has reached the end of a road, and the end of the postmodern road, which uh, Dr. Dr. Colin Rosewell said at, a, at an exhibition opening only a few weeks ago, he, uh, he pronounced that postmodernism is dead and there's a return to reality. And so what you're seeing here in this room today is a return to reality, a return to painting, a return to recognisable figurative art, which is, is good. I like it. I think it's what people are hungering for. They want something they can recognise. And Graham is for the of that, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, so now, having said all that, let me say this. I'm very proud and honoured to be asked to say a few words on the behalf of my friend Graham. And I'd like to declare this exhibition open. And if anyone leaves without a painting, I know the mafia. <laughs> no, I don't. Thank you all for being here. And on behalf of Graham, thank you again. <laughs>